doing well apologies right now if I sound kind of funny I woke up this morning and I like couldn't breathe out of either nostrils so that's what we're dealing with today but other than that hope you guys are doing well today's video is going to be my what you need to try for spring video I did one of these for winter as well as fall so I'll have them linked down below if you want to go check them out still love the products that I used in those videos but I wanted to share some of my recent discoveries with you share with you what I've been using what I've been loving and what's worth your money essentially so yeah, that's what today's video is going to be. I hope you guys enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new. The button will be somewhere on here, and um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump in. My first current obsession is my hair color, and if you guys don't know, I get my hair done by Sarah or Hair by Namrud. I will have her Instagram linked up below. She is amazing, and she does wonders with my hair. I love the color it was, and so we basically just like touched up the roots. She trimmed off the ends, and I'm feeling very fresh, very like bright for spring. I'm loving it and I just can't stop touching my hair. So that is first thing. Moving on to some product favorites. The first three are from Lush so I figured I would start with these. I do get PR sent to me from Lush and without that I would have never tried this product because I didn't think that a shampoo bar from Lush would work on my hair because I have very thick hair. But girl, I was wrong. This stuff works amazingly. I can imagine this would be perfect for travel. It might look kind of gross. Yeah, it looks kind of gross. I don't really want to show you guys too much. But this is the be, hashtag be cruelty free one. It kind of smells like cinnamon. It's really like minty and it does amazing things. It lathers really nicely and it does get my hair super, super clean, which I like. So yeah, something like this I would have never thought to try and I'm really glad I did because I quite enjoy it. And another thing, I just like haven't tried that many hair products in general from Lush and this is another one that I really, really like. This is the R&B Hair Moisturizer, a rich leave-in moisturizer to revive and balance dry or curly hair. I have pretty like wavy hair, but I, a lot of the time my hair, like the ends feel really dry and stuff. So I like to apply this just a little bit to my damp hair at the ends. It's kind of like a like pomade type of thing. Also smells good and it stays in your hair. This stays, the scent of it stays in my hair for like days after. It smells amazing. So yeah, those two Lush products for hair, I'm really digging. And the other Lush product I wanted to mention is again something I probably would have never tried on my own and I believe it is limited edition for spring. And this is the Flopsy Face Wash Jelly. And it's shaped like a bunny, so I'll try and insert a picture of that. But it is so cool. It's really gentle, exfoliating. It's great for the morning and I love the scent of it. It cleansed my skin really well. I'm just, I'm a big fan. And again, something I would have never tried, but highly recommend. The next product I wanted to share with you guys is actually something Rach Loves mentioned in one of her videos recently. And I was like, that sounds really cool. I kind of want to try it. So I actually went out to Sephora like that day, purchased it and <laughs> she was not kidding. This stuff is really good. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. And I've tried a couple Laneige products here and there every once in a while, but I didn't know they had a lip mask and I've never actually used a lip mask before this. But it is cool stuff. This stuff smells amazing. I like to keep it in the box. I don't know why. But I keep it on my nightstand and it smells like berries. It smells so good. So you get the actual lip mask in like a really big tub and then you also get like a little applicator. So you just like scoop a little bit on, put it on your lips, leave it overnight and wipe off the excess. Normally I don't have any excess because my lips are so dehydrated. But it smells amazing and it works really, really well. It's basically like an intense chapstick for when you sleep and I really enjoy that. So if you also have dry chapped lips, check this one out. Moving on to some makeup items I think you guys should check out for the springtime. If you're into color correcting, I highly recommend this L'Oreal palette. I've been using it like non-stop since I got it and I really like the formula, the texture. I think it's really good quality. I'm not sure the price point, but it is from the drugstore so I can't imagine it being too expensive. And you basically have all the colors. I really reach for like the dark peach and the green the most. I put the peach under my eyes and the green around my nose and stuff to cancel redness. I love this. I'm always color correcting my stuff, just beat on my stuff. I'm color correcting my videos as well as my face and this stuff is really good and I was using the Urban Decay liquid ones for a really long time but this kind of like stole my heart so I've been using this a little bit more. If you don't currently follow me on Instagram or Snapchat you probably should because I do a lot of new product unboxings and also just like show you guys events when I go to them and this past month I actually went to a Makeup Forever workshop and got to learn about their new products and also just like how to use their old ones properly and just like learned a bunch of stuff about makeup but a product that they recently launched and I highly recommend for springtime is their new liquid lips these things are beautiful they are supposed to last 20 hours on your lips 
that's incredible. The shade range is beautiful. I believe they only have like six shades, but they're all like pretty neutral and really, really wearable for pretty much any skin tone. Highly recommend them. They're a great formula. Like I said, they stay on a really, really long time. And I'd have to say my favorite shade is 103, but I'll show you swatches of them kind of overlay so you guys can see them. I'm obsessed, love them. Highly recommend them. I feel like for the springtime, I'm like all about the lips apparently. But this other product from Makeup Forever that is brand new is their Ultra HD Lip Booster. It comes in clear as well as like a flushed pink color. And basically you just are supposed to apply this to your lips and it instantly hydrates them, boosts them, like plumps them. It like just does amazing things. And I like to put this on before I start doing my makeup. That way it has time to sink in before I like to apply a lipstick or a liquid lipstick. You can also apply it on top and it just like helps hydrate. So yeah, this has been a favorite product and it's something you guys should definitely check out. And the last like beauty type of product I wanted to mention is actually a new perfume. And I am not one to try new scents like at all. I get headaches and I'm very sensitive to scents in particular, but this YSL Black Opium Perfume, is amazing it's very mature but it's still sweet and subtle um, it's a perfume I would definitely wear out I wouldn't necessarily wear it every day I mean you kind of could and like sometimes I do but it's mostly a going out scent the packaging is gorgeous I love it so much and yeah if you're at a like Sephora or a I don't know department store and you want to smell scent definitely check this one out it's really good and I feel like it's pretty unique too it's also kind of fun to throw in a couple random things so my next like spring must-have is colorful jackets or not really colorful but I really do like this pink one that I've been wearing a lot it's from Zara and at the same time I purchased that one I also picked up this black one which is just like a regular black leather jacket and I also have this floral one that I've been wearing a ton if you follow me on Instagram you've probably seen all these but I love wearing these I think they're so edgy but also like really chic and girly and stuff I really like wearing them and I've been loving them a ton and I can't wait for the weather to get like way warmer so I can actually wear these like on a day-to-day -day basis and as for TV shows you guys should check out during the springtime if you haven't already definitely check out 13 reasons why I'm not done the series yet though everyone seems to be watching it so dang fast I'm just not caught up yet but I've really been enjoying it so far and I feel like it's gonna be like a hard hitter at the end and I'm like a little nervous and like not prepared for that so yeah 13 reasons why I also really liked Big Little Lies that has Reese Witherspoon in it such a good good show it's like a mini series so there's literally only eight episodes and then that's it it's so good and so beautifully shot that you guys should definitely check that one out. And of course, I love Riverdale because I'm basic and it's shot here. So I love it. And Cody actually worked on it, like did the dailies and stuff for it. So I love that show. It's so good. It's like cheesy good or it's just good good. I like it. <laughs> so if you haven't checked those ones out, you should definitely do that. Leave a comment down below of your spring must have, whether it's a makeup, skincare, literally any beauty product, fashion favorite. TV show, literally anything, leave me a comment down below because I love reading your guys' comments. And of course, give it a thumbs up and check out my previous videos on this side. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.